Now we'll start programming the machining operations. If we look at the programming overview, you can see that each machining operation has three parts. A start tool section, a machining cycle section, and an end tool section. The machining cycles provided with Manual Guide I are responsible for creating coordinated motion to machine the geometry selected by the programmer. However, it does not control machine-specific features such as safe restart blocks, starting and stopping the spindle, making sure the spindle is up to speed before machine begins, and turning the coolant on and off. These and other features are often machine-specific, especially for complex turning centers that include multiple spindles, subspindles, and other machine tool-specific features. Fixed form sentences are used to activate the machine specific features prior to running a machining cycle, deactivating machine specific features after performing a machining cycle. In these tutorials, we use the term start tool to describe activating machine specific features before performing a machining cycle. And we use the term end tool to describe deactivating machine specific features after performing a machining cycle. In practice, the machine tool builder, machine tool distributor, or an experienced programmer at your company will create fixed form sentences for less experienced Manual Guide I programmers to use. The Manual Guide I programmer does not have to understand the contents of the fixed form sentence, but they do have to understand how and when to use them and provide any missing information that's required when the fixed form sentence is inserted. In this overview tutorial, we use the fixed form sentences called Start Roughing Tool. Fixed form sentences reflect the programming style of the person who created them. It is highly recommended that you simplify and standardize programming as much as possible in order to minimize the time it takes to create a program, reduce setup time, and minimize the possibility of data entry errors. It should be noted that the Start Roughing Tool Fixed Form Sentence automatically assumes a standard station number for the roughing tool, a particular material and tool insert cutting capabilities, and uses advanced macro program variables to minimize the data entry requirement. Although it's a subject of a future tutorial, it should be noted that Fixed Form Sentences can be quickly loaded from a USB memory stick to completely change all of the text form sentences to suit a particular programming style. Fixed form sentences can be set for different material types so the spindle speeds can be automatically set according to the tooling manufacturer's recommendations. Depending on your machinist's experience, you may prefer more precise control over everything that happens prior to the machining cycle. So, you may have individual fixed form sentences to establish a safe restart block, start and stop the spindle, start and stop the coolant. To select if the spindle is to be running constant surface speed or RPN mode. To move close to the part and allow the spindle to come up to speed and many other functions. This is just a matter of programming style and there is no right or wrong answer. Again, we will take a more in-depth look at creating fixed form sentences in a later tutorial. Because this is a simple part, we're only using a standard roughing tool and a standard finishing tool to complete machining. As parts get more complex and include features that require more specialized tooling, then we may have to include more generic fixed form sentences because there's a limit on how many fixed form sentences that are available. We cannot have a fixed form sentence for every individual tool in a large tool changer or turret, but many tools can be standardized, and it is highly recommended that you standardize as many tools as possible given the limitations of the machine's tool changer or turret capacity. This will simplify programming and significantly reduce setup time. Obvious candidates for standardization are the outer and inner roughing tools, outer and inner finishing tools, a drill sized to provide access to the inner roughing tool, a grooving tool, a cutoff tool, a threading tool, and a center or countersink tool. 
Lots of parts can be made with just these nine tools. With that background, we will use the Start Roughing Tool Fixed Form Sentence. To insert a Start Tool Fixed Form Sentence, press the Start Soft key. Remember, the CNC must be in edit mode, and you can use the continuous menu keys to display the Start, Cycle, and End soft keys. The Start Fixed Form Sentences are found on the first tab labeled Start. Use the cursor up and down keys to highlight the fixed form sentence to be inserted. Note that you can see the contents of each fixed form sentence in the window on the right as you move the cursor up and down. With the Start Roughing Tool fixed form sentence highlighted, press the Insert soft key. If a fixed form sentence has information that must be edited by the Manual Guide I programmer, the message, Imperfect Word Must Be Changed, is displayed. When reviewing the inserted fixed form sentence, you will notice at least one word will have one or several question mark characters displayed in red. If there are multiple items that the programmer must change, then there will be multiple words with the red question mark characters. In this case, the only information that the programmer must provide is the diameter of the bar stock being used. This value is used to calculate the spindle speed in RPM and an approach position that will allow the spindle to come up to speed prior to the machining cycle. This is not the final approach position to machining. That is set in the machining cycle. This is just an intermediate position to move the tool from the relatively distant tool chain's position and to allow the spindle to come up to go speed. Use the cursor keys to highlight the word with the red question marks. The diameter of the workpiece is 5 inches, so enter a 5 point on the key input buffer and then press the Alter key on the MDI keyboard. When editing a single word, you must complete the operation using the Alter key on the MDI keyboard. Note that there is also an Alter Soft key displayed, but you cannot use this Soft key to modify a single word. The Alter Soft key is used to modify machine cycles or the workpiece blank definition using a dialog box. Let's quickly review some of the information inserted into the fixed form sentence so that we understand what it's doing prior to the machining cycle. Your machine may have a different fixed form sentence, but it still must achieve these basic operations and perhaps even more. You really don't have to understand the contents of a fixed form sentence. You just need to know how and when to use them. But since they are custom, we will at least explain what this particular fixed form sentence does. The first line of the fixed form sentence sets a macro variable to the diameter of the workpiece. This macro variable is used several times later in the fixed form sentence. Using a macro variable means the operator doesn't have to set the same value multiple times and reduces the chance of data entry errors. The second line resets several CNC modes so that a known condition exists if a program has to be restarted from the middle. But it's good to have a standard approach for every part, from the most simple to the most complex. You may notice that these are the same G codes that were included in the start program fixed form sentence. G40 cancels tool nose radius compensation. G80 cancels canned cycles. G97 cancels constant surface speed. G99 selects inch per revolution feed rate programming. The third line selects tool 1, that is T0101. In this case, tool 1 is the first station in the turret, and it contains a standard roughing tool. It also selects the first gear range using M41. M41 may not be required by your machine if it doesn't have gear ranges or if gear selection is automatic. The fourth line selects the spindle speed in RPM and starts the spindle in the clockwise direction. If you are new to CNC machine tools, you may assume that setting the spindle speed in RPM is the most common way to control spindle speed. However, most CNC turning is performed in constant surface speed programming, or just CSS. 
Constant Service Speed Programming provides a constant material removal rate to provide a superior machining surface finish. It does this by increasing the speed of the spindle as it moves from large diameters to smaller diameters. However, spindles and workpieces have significant work width inertia, and it's impossible for a spindle to go from a dead stop to the correct spindle speed for a particular diameter at the tip of the tool in a very short time. Therefore, it's common practice to set a spindle speed in RPM that is appropriate for the diameter at an intermediate approach position. The speed in RPM is simply calculated based on the tool manufacturer's guidelines for the cutting speed in surface feet per minute. A simple formula converts the surface speed per minute speed to the RPM speed at a particular diameter. This fixed form sentence sets the intermediate position half inch off the part. So one inch is added to the diameter value entered to calculate the spindle speed in RPM. The fifth line moves the tool to the intermediate position and turns on flood coolant. The sixth and final line changes the spindle speed from RPM to constant surface speed programming and sets the tooling manufacturer's rate of 1000 surface feet per minute. This completes this tutorial on inserting a start tool fixed form sentence. And now we're ready to look at the rough facing cycle in detail.